All right, so I have my DC power supply putting out roughly 14 volts, and I have a little voltage divider here, so 14 volts is seen across this entire network of resistors, and only 5 volts is seen across this resistor and this potentiometer. So those two leads go over here to the Arduino, goes into analog zero and to ground. So 5 volts is seen at analog zero when it's at 14 volts on the DC power supply and then the ground is ground of the power supply. And there's the DMM measuring 13.93 volts. As you can see it's hooked in directly to the power supply. And there's the serial monitor telling me what voltage is coming into the analog input. Now in all reality, that's actually 5 volts, but I've changed the ratio, so it sees it as 14. And that's logging every one, uh, it's logging at one second intervals. So what I'm going to do is turn off the power supply, and you can see that LED is still lit slightly, and eventually it'll drain. And while that's draining, I have the Arduino still measuring the voltage. So that's enough data. Okay, so I switch over to screen capture. And I'm going to select the values. So right about here is where I turn off the power. So I'm going to select there. And select it again. Now I'm going to copy this by hitting Control C. And now I open a spreadsheet. This is with OpenOffice, but it's the equivalent to Excel. And now I'm going to paste that data by hitting Control V. And it's asking me how I want to paste that, and this is showing it in one column, so that's good. So hit OK. Now select your data. So rows 1 through 48 in column A. Now select insert and select chart. And here's where you can choose what kind of chart you would want to use. I typically use the XY scatter. And instead of using points, I'm going to use lines. and then this looks pretty good. I could add some information such as what the x-axis is and that would be time. So enter time and let's put SEC for seconds and the y-axis is voltage. and hit finish and there's your nice little chart here so the vertical is the voltage and the horizontal is the time in seconds so that's how you can make a chart from the data that's output from the Arduino and just for fun this is how the serial data is output from the Arduino uh, so you start it up and you want to set it up so the serial will begin an output, in other words. And then you want to start your routine. You declare an integer as sensor value, which is the value that is seen at A0. And that value will be any number between 0 and 1023, depending on how much voltage is there. So if it's 5 volts, it will say that the value is 1023 and if it's 0 volts it'll say it's 0 as it says right here and now you declare a floating variable which allows you to use a decimal point and you want to call that voltage and voltage is going to be equal to the sensor value so that number between 0 and 1023 and you're going to multiply that number by 14 divided by 1000 
23. So instead of giving you a number between 0 and 1023, it's going to give you a number between 0 and 14 with some decimal points for accuracy. And now you're going to print that voltage out the serial port. And then you're going to delay for one second. And then it's going to loop again. So that's how the data is output from the Arduino to your computer. Thanks for watching.